Hi, this is David from 9CI. I was flying through the SeaTac airport a couple weeks ago, and I turned my Safe and Sound Pro on and saw some very interesting readings. I saw the meter getting totally saturated, 2.5 million microwatts per meter squared every four seconds, pretty much everywhere in the airport. So we're gonna take a look at a couple video clips I shot of those measurements, and I'm gonna narrate them to describe what I think is going on. Okay, in this first video clip, we're going to see kind of a noise floor around 10 to 20,000 microwatts per meter squared. And then watch that, watch that peak reading. Every four seconds, you're going to see a big spike up to 2.5 million. Okay, so here we go. So 20,000, boom, 2.5 million. Wait four seconds, boom, 2.5 million. Wait four more seconds. Boom, two and a half million. And you'll notice that whenever you see those spikes up to two and a half million, the average reading goes up a bunch too. So it's a, it's not just like a single pulse coming through. It's a series of pulses that's actually elevating the average power reading as well. Okay, on to the second video clip. So here I'm in a different part of the airport. I'm over in the, I think I'm in the, C gates here. I was in the B gates for that other clip. So here the noise floor is a little bit lower. Probably just less Wi-Fi in the area, something like that. Noise floor is down at maybe 3,000, 4,000. But again, every four seconds you're going to see that big spike. So here we go. Big spike to 1 million. Drops back down to two, 3,000. Big spike to 2.5 million big spike to two and a half million and again you see that average reading coming up every time you see those big spikes and then look out the window there's the tarmac there are the airplanes so there you guys go pretty interesting readings in the airport there never seen that before uh, but i'm definitely going to be looking for it when i fly through SeaTac again and other airports if you guys are flying through airports yourself, you know, Safe and Sound Pro owners out there. Um, please take some readings and, you know, throw them in the comments below or shoot a little video clip and, and send it our way. We'd be very interested to see what those results are. Also, these readings being up at 2.5 million microwatts per meter squared, that's a real occupational health and safety risk, or it's starting to get close to it. Two and a half million microwatts per meter squared is near the rather lax uh, SAR heating standard for actually heating your flesh and causing cell damage just from heat, not even from RF effects. So if you work at an airport, you might want to consider getting a meter and taking some measurements and seeing what they're like. The, um, the Safe and Sound Pro is obviously my favorite meter. That's the one I would recommend first. Uh, a lot of radar, airport radars are up at around 9 gigahertz. Safe and Sound Pro is the only meter on the market that's going to pick that up. If you work at an airport that has a lower frequency radar down below 5 gigahertz or so, some of the other meters on the market will pick those up too. Um, so, can't say for sure which meters will pick up what frequencies. I can say the Safe and Sound Pro will pick up all of them. So, if you guys are interested in that and you work at an airport, snag a meter take some readings leave a comment below we'd be very interested to hear about your findings if you guys like the video please give it a thumbs up and if you like the channel please support us and subscribe uh, we appreciate all the support from our viewers all the comments all the feedback we'll catch you guys in a later video